we've got the grand solar minimum coming. But we may have worse than that. We may have the super grand solar minimum coming. Lots of information to cover in this video. We're going to get into this article here in a second about the super grand solar minimum, which has quickly become my new research obsession. I had no idea about any of this going on. I wasn't buying into the global warming, but I had no idea that we were actually headed towards global cooling, and even potentially what it's looking like is a little ice age. Now before we get into that article and some of the evidence that leads to that conclusion, I want to first show some articles of current weather going on. This is one of the things that just blew my mind. Once I start finding facts on things, then I become very interested, and that's why I'm so interested in this little ice age in the grand solar minimum and even the super grand solar minimum that we're going to get into here in a minute. But first, let's look at the Vero Beach in Florida breaks record low as temperatures drop into the 30s and 40s across Treasure and Space Coasts. This is in Florida. Record low, record low, as we see, as I've shown in my last video and as we are going to see in this video, it's definitely a trend. Unlike this supposed warming that everyone says is going on that I've never seen it. It stays winter and summer everywhere that I'm at. We're actually heading towards the global cooling. The evidence is in the articles. The facts are the facts and we see it being reported. The global cooling is what the evidence shows. Okay, let's look at this here. Bangor, Augusta, Millinocket, all in Maine, on pace to have the coldest Novembers on record. Another place heading to hit record lows, and it's going to get a lot colder in the coming years. This month so far has been the coldest November on record for several locales in Maine, according to the National Weather Service. Bitter single-digit temperatures on the holiday last week set Thanksgiving records for cold in Bangor and Portland. Bangor, Augusta, and Millinocket each had their coolest record Novembers even so far this month, according to the federal weather data posted online by the Southeast Regional Climate Center at the University of North Carolina. Bangor has averaged just above 32 degrees Fahrenheit, Millinocket just above 29 degrees, and Augusta just below 33. Records for these locations date back at least 40 years. Look at this chart here from 2007 to 2018, a major drop off there. Something we're going to see a lot more of in the coming future. This is an interesting article. Visible fire hydrants save lives. Property. <laughs> nice title. Davenport. With the record snowfall that the area receives Sunday, Iowa American Water is reminding residents and its service communities to clear snow from the fire hydrants that may be located on or near the property. So record snow in Iowa to the point to where they're asking for people to clear the snow off the fire hydrants so emergency vehicles can get to them in case of an emergency. Crazy. Here's another, I mean, record, I, the whole, we, I've seen record, between my last video and this video, record lows and record snow, it's unbelievable. Parts of New England and New York have seen a historically snowy November. Let's read down here in the article, it says, This record and near record November snowfall has been caused by the same general weather pattern that led to record rainfall in parts of the Mid-Atlantic into eastern New England. Basically, storm systems keep on coming, riding along the jet stream that has parked itself over the region. In addition to a stream of coastal storms this cold season, other low-pressure systems kept the precipitation coming as well. There have now been eight significant low-pressure systems affecting the eastern United States over the past month. And I really could go on and on, but these are just a few just to show the point like I'm going to continue to do. It's crazy. Record snow. We see record colds, not only just in the U.S., around the entire world. Something is changing. The Earth is definitely changing. And it's going to get a lot worse according to predictions. Now what I've come to learn is that the sun cycles and sunspots have an extreme correlation on the weather that we receive on Earth. Looking at sunspot observations over the past 400 years, we can see that in the low times of sunspots is when the coldest weather occurs. We have something known as the Maunder Minimum, which is when the sun was extremely inactive and there is very few sunspots. And during that time was what's known as the Little Ice Age, which also stretched into the Dalton, the Dalton Minimum, which was another period of very few sunspots. And we are heading into another one of those times. According to the models of Valentina Zarkova, she's made models that are up to 93% accurate, which is pretty amazing because all of the other people who are doing this type of research, mainly the ones who are trying to find the global warming, they look for it, these government-run 
agencies which already have the results written before they've even done their research. They're already going to give out a, a global warming scorched earth result. That's what they're going to do because that's what they're how they get paid. That's how they get funded. Of course, they're going to do that. Now, this article and every other article referring to the super grand solar minimum that I've read say two things that I can only find in the articles themselves which all seem to be a copy of one another. It seems like one person wrote it, and every other website it's on, it's just been copied. And those two things that are pretty interesting, but I can't verify in any other way, is one of them is that the Earth's four magnetic fields, which I can't verify anywhere, it doesn't really make sense, but I am no expert in the sun by any means, but it says the four magnetic fields of the earth will all be out of place where in the past like during the maunder minimum two of the sun's magnetic fields were out of phase but during this one all four of them will be out of phase but i cannot verify anywhere else that there's four magnetic fields in our sun it doesn't really make sense but again i don't know everything about the sun obviously or anything like that but i just wanted to point it out for the record that it is in these articles and also in these articles is that the super grand solar minimum will last 350 to 400 years again these i cannot verify in any other way except through these multiple articles which i'm only going to show the one because they every other one is literally copied off of one another i don't know who wrote the first one originally but they all say the same thing that the period would last about 350 to 400 years and also that all four of the sun's magnetic field would be out of phase instead of just two of them. But it seems to me that there's only a normal magnetic field around the sun with the north and south pole and that they flip every 11 year sun cycle. But I wanted to just include it in the video. The cooling effect that Zarkova is predicting is going to be 2.5 to 4 times larger than the Maunder minimum that was seen back during the Little Ice Age, which is crazy, just totally crazy. I mean, the effect that this will have on crops and the growing of food and those who are just unprepared for these types of situations will be great. I mean, the effect that this will have on people who are not prepared for this situation, it will not be good. With the weather changes and the earth changes that we will see during this time, during a cooling period, it would be unprecedented about how much it would affect those who are not prepared and on the growing of food, obviously. If winters last longer and come earlier, it will be a massive hit on the agriculture of the world another great reason to prepare for the times that are coming because they're not going to be easy no matter what they are and this is definitely looking a lot like this is going to be part of our future this also got me to think about bible prophecy because that's what i love and look into all the time luke 21 11 says and great earthquakes shall be in diverse places and famines and pestilence and fearful sights and great signs shall there be from heaven if the earth gets much cooler, obviously there is going to be famines. Crops need specific weather patterns to grow, and if those weather patterns change drastically and are cooler, or if we get random freezes in the middle of summer, or in the early stages of summer, or in the late ends of it, in the growing periods, that would make that will be a catastrophic effect and will definitely cause famines. Another Bible verse that made me think of too was Matthew 24, 20, and it says, But pray ye that your flight... Be not in the winter, neither on the Sabbath day. This is talking about in the end times when you, people are going to have to flee because of the things that are going on. Pray that it not be in the winter. Maybe that might not just mean because it'll be kind of cold, but that could mean because it's going to be extremely cold and you do not want to be in a situation where you're having to flee in the winter. Obviously, the goal would be to be totally already set up before all, any of this happens. Because no buying and selling will be going on for any Christian during this time period. So people need to get ready for the things that are coming because they aren't going to be good. They clearly aren't. But we have hope and that's what truly matters. And that's why we're given information ahead of time because God is good. So just looking back at these charts, these charts speak for themselves. Looking at the colder time periods of the past, we see that the cold periods are during the low sunspot times. Low sunspots are 100% correlated with the, temperature, with the temperature of the Earth. Obviously, the sun will have the greatest effect on the temperature of the Earth. There's only a very special place that between the sun and the Earth's location where we even get the temperatures that we get. The whole global warming thing is clearly a funded pseudoscience to try to get power power it's totally it's a power grab look at it 100 percent look into agenda 21 and agenda 30 have you seen the maps i'll put one up 
anybody, you, you practically can't go anywhere. If they implemented this map, you couldn't go anywhere. I mean, they'd shove us in the cities, all land would be off limits. They already, I mean, it's ridiculous, especially uh, when I lived in California, how off limits the majority of of nature is out there. It's unbelievable. Every dirt road is blocked off. And California is a testing ground for the draconian authoritarian laws that they try to put into place. But they will soon find out and they're going to have to change their tune here real quick when they realize that that ain't going to that ain't going to fly just like it hasn't flown. They've been talking about global warming for so long and I, no one sees signs of it. The only signs you will ever see of global warming will be on the news because out in the normal world, no one sees it. Yeah, for a while it was, I guess you could say, a little bit warmer than was expected, but look at the map. Look at the sunspot observation. Higher sunspots. Look at what we're heading. Very low again, just like the time during the Maunder minimum. But hey, we need to, you know, look into this stuff, be aware. Obviously, pay attention to somebody whose information is 93% right compared to the governmental agencies who tell us information and it is never true. It just pulls at your emotions and is fear-mongering. There's no reason to be fearful if you prepare and if you're ready for things that are coming, that the things that are coming upon the earth. If you're ready, then no reason to fear. And obviously, the greatest prep is being right with God. That's 100% the greatest thing that you could possibly do. And also be ready for the times with provisions that you will need. Clearly, that's just a smart, smart idea. So, it will be very interesting to see how the narrative has to turn, because it's going to have to turn real quick here when people realize that the Earth is not warming and it's getting colder, and we'll see how the global warming crowd turns around. That might be a great awakening experience, actually, for a lot of people, because they realize they've been lied to hardcore for so long, as if you couldn't see it in so many other areas, but everyone knows about this one so hopefully that is a great awakening period and turning around for many people but we're also seeing front full frontal attacks of deception on practically every single level this is extremely interesting once i saw once i just started looking into this i i've been practically been researching just this ever since i've stumbled upon it but yeah i'm gonna keep making videos on this very interesting we see every practically every single day now it's unbelievable when you look at it low temperatures record snow early snow everywhere everywhere it, it's it's completely crazy to see all of this so the evidence is in the evidence it's not in the mainstream media lying media that they are that everyone by now should know that they are saying the earth is warming this is happening how is the earth warming if there's record low temperatures and early snows all across the entire world? Explain that to me. And we will see. This is where it's starting to go and where it's going. Starting really in 2020 and practically in 2019 from what I've researched, but mainly in 2020 and heading for about 30 to 50 years. But then if all the earth, all four of the earth's magnetic fields do go out of their phases, then it could potentially be 350 years to 400 which is just totally crazy so do the research look into it very very interesting prepare wisely for you and your family it's just a smart bet no matter what you're doing seriously no matter what comes and this just just looks completely like the facts of what will come but no matter what that's smart to do and um yeah i think that covers it for about now so thanks for watching and god bless